Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today I'm going to share with you guys some items that I found from Dollar General, how I styled them, and also some really great and easy DIYs. So let's get into the video. So here are some really great pieces I found from Dollar General in their greenery section and floral section. So they have ferns, they have these little olive branches. Those were both $1 each. And then these eucalyptus stems were $2. I really liked this tray. I'm a sucker for trays and this was only $8, which I thought was a really great deal. So I'm be putting together this tray first with some items I found only from Dollar General. So this little canister was $5 and I thought that was absolutely adorable the way it was. So none of this stuff is going to get changed. I just really liked the decor they had there. So this little lantern was $10. They had a larger one as well. I'm not sure how much that that one was but if you're looking for something larger I found that too I also found this little flameless LED candle this was I think five or six dollars and you just add some double-a batteries and there you go threw that into the tray as well so the next thing I thought was I need some ferns inside that cute little canister I love this open and close sign this was 450 and I love this little table decor I actually added this to my kitchen later on I love this little cluck little planter, $4. And then I had a cute little plant that I picked up at Michael's and just threw that right inside. You can probably get something from Dollar General if you didn't have anything, but I did. And this is what the tray looks like all decorated when it is finished. option is this fresh lemons chalk. It is so cute. They also had a peach one. They also had a strawberry one as well. And these were $5. All right. So onto some DIYs, this quick little garland, this was $3. And I'm just going to be placing this over some pictures in my living room of my girls. This wall just seemed a little bit empty and a little bit plain. And I thought this looked absolutely perfect for this piece and for this side of my dining room. So for the first DIY, real DIY, this menu board, I want to say this was $5, maybe six, maybe seven um, in that range. So I just used nail polish remover and some soap and water, eventually got some of that menu sign off. And I'm going to be using a chalk couture transfer for this piece. Anytime I see a chalkboard, I think I have to use chalk couture because it just looks so amazing when it is all completely finished. So this was part of the club couture uh, transfer of the month for May. So yeah, I'm a little late to the party with this, but they also have some really great transfers as well. But Club Couture, if you want to just check out Chalk Couture, it's only $19.99 a month and it comes with a monthly transfer along with the chalk paste in the packets as well. So you can try it out for three months. If you just want to, you know, get your feet in the water with Chalk Couture, it can be pricey, but this lets you know if you actually really like it. So I'm using the Bumblebee, the Eucalyptus, and the Bright White Chalk Paste. And this is what this sign looks like when it is completely finished. I absolutely love this. I'm loving the yellows. I'm loving the lemons, the lemonade, all of it. I think it is so cute for summer. pieces. I thought the little scrap of paper or the paper on the back was absolutely adorable from the start. So I did not want to change these up at all. They are perfect for summer. These were $4 at Dollar General. And for this one, I'm going to be using a rub on transfer from the Dollar Tree. So I love these little plants right here at the bottom in this farm fresh flowers, seeds, stems, and blooms. So I'm going to be adding both of those to the front of this house.
next one, I'm also going to be using a chalk couture transfer. This one says every, oh my gosh, what does it say? I think it's every summer has a story, something pretty similar to that. Uh, I will tell you in one second exactly what it is. I'm just using the velvet chalk paste here, and then I'm gonna be pulling this off. And these transfers are reusable, so you can use these over and over again as long as you take care of them very, very well. Every summer has a story. Then I'm just gonna be adding some twine to the top and just wrapping it around. And that is a wrap for the two of these houses. one I'm using this little container this basket this was five dollars and I'm going to be adding one of these rub-on transfers this is from Dixie Bell and I love the bells and whistles farm transfers I will link that in the description box below but I am running low on these I've said this a million times but they kind of come with a lot so I've probably done 15 to 20 maybe even more projects with these I may just do a whole video with just these Dixie Bell transfers they run anywhere between like 25 and 27 dollars I think you can grab them on Etsy Amazon but uh, I would just pick them off the Dixie Bell site uh, that'd probably be your best bet so just added that transfer and then added a ton of florals ferns olive branches from Dollar General are super quick and easy. This is a W and K little door signs or hangers. These were only $1 from Dollar General. They actually have a ton of dollar items there still, which I absolutely love. I will go through them. I will look around as many times as I have to looking for dollar items because there's so many to choose from. So I did about three to four coats of this Waverly chalk paint in white. And then once that was finally done, finally dry, I always use a hair dryer to make this process go a lot faster. So you think you got to wait for four coats to dry. You totally don't have to do that. These little wall decal stickers, these were from Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna be adding this, I wanna say it's a aloe plant and a cactus to each of these. And how cute are these? That's all I did for this one. This DIY is with another $5 basket. I love these little edge pieces. I thought they were so stinking cute. I'm also gonna be using this Farm Fresh 2020 calendar, 2022 calendar, yes, 2022. Uh, I picked this up at Dollar Tree last year. I'm using this Honeybees and Flowers, please. I'm gonna be flipping this basket over. So right now I'm just gonna be tracing around the calendar sign and then I am going to just be using some Mod Podge to place this calendar on. Uh, eventually I did have to trim off some of this because Obviously, my measurements were not precise, which is totally fine because once everything is Mod Podge and dry, you can just use an X-Acto knife and cut the pieces and the parts that you do no longer want. to add something else to this I just added one of these handles I picked these up off Amazon and I've used these so many times for trays or little baskets or crates things like this but I love just how this gives it just a little bit of extra to the top very last piece. This is also a Dollar General find since the Dollar General video is $12, but this was from after Christmas when I picked it up for, I want to say 80 or 90% off. So it was only a few dollars. I want to say it was $3 
or less. And then I just pulled out all of the florals and you can save these for Christmas later on. Some of them don't really even seem that Christmassy. So you could probably just add a couple summer flowers in. This probably would have done just fine, but I had to redo the entire thing. So once I pulled all that out, this is the On the Farm Bells and Whistles Dixie Belt transfer roll that I've been using so many times. You use this Welcome to the Farm transfer. You rub it on. I just didn't go into details with that. And then I started adding some boxwood greenery. That is from Walmart. And then the yellow flowers and the little yellow picks, those were from Dollar General. You guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed these Dollar General DIYs and decorating. If you did, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, consider sticking around and subscribing. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye. the sun go down over the same old town like so many times before we look at the same old stars